Hey guys, if you're interested in applying for this awesome giveaway of Citizens of Earth, which is a Steam game for $15 in Steam, if you want to apply, click the annotation on the screen and it will take you to the video where you can learn more about it and find the link to apply for this. The giveaway is on February 21st, so make sure you apply before that date. Thanks guys, and enjoy the video. Hello guys, what's going on? It's Lemon King back here on the channel for another Loot Crate unboxing video, and this one's a little bit different, but we'll get there in just a second. But there's a few things we want to go over first before we get to the unboxing of this nice loot right here. The first thing is, if you haven't checked out the last video that I posted, like the last Loot Crate unboxing video of the January 2016 Loot Crate, I would, I would suggest going and watching it so you see what kind of stuff we're talking about here. And one thing I wanted to bring up from that was that this little guy, the, the face hugger, the gun box. I was wondering what this rubber band was used for. And a bunch of people say that the rubber band is used to put the face hugger on your face. So this is apparently what the face hugger is supposed to do. And yeah. So I looked at a couple of their videos and a bunch of people were talking about like why is there this random rubber band there? So I was like, okay, you can't be random, but that's what the rubber band is used for. And there's no like labeling here, like label it or something. But no, just a rubber band. Second thing is, what I did was change the background a little bit back here. Just to like give like a little bit more detail, not just a big white backing screen. Just change it up a little bit, you have more to look at. So I have obviously the GTA 5 posters, or the GTA 4 posters still back there. Well, the Minecraft sword I have back there. The creeper head is still right there. Up in the right, I've moved something that was in the other corner of the little shelf, and that's where I'm going to have my, my little Blooming King is up there, and I'll put some other Loot Crate stuff and my collectibles and stuff in here, and right here is the other, the one poster that we got from the 2016 Loot Crate, right there, there, and then the other one is there, and the other poster, and then the pin, kind of like, let me my finger here, and there's the pin, put the pin in the wall too from the you know, 2016 Loot Crate, so that is what I did with the backdrop, just to give you guys a little bit more to look at, I don't have any shelves or anything, which might change, but I wanted to see what that looks like. So, now we can move on to this loot crate. And the weird thing was, this loot crate is the 2015 Mystery Loot Crate. And what that is, is basically taking a compilation of the items that were given in the 2015 loot crates and put into this box. And just like a random to get rid of all of them. And the weird thing was, I never got a tracking, so I had to, I never got a tracking email for this Loot Crate. So I had to contact Loot Crate and say, I never got a tracking email and it's not here yet. Because I got the January 2016 Loot Crate first. Then this came in just today, which today is the 26th of January. And this just came in. So I was like, why did I get the January one first? So yeah, I got the January 2016 crate plate, 16 January 2016 loot crate, plus the uh, level up. This is the thing I got from level up. If you haven't seen the video, and now I got this one. So that's why I was confused. I emailed them, then I got it today after I sent the email today. Now I have it. Now I can do it. But it's basically a compilation of all of the loot crate items from 2015 that are left over. So they go January 2015 was rewind, February 2015 was play. The March 2015 was Covert, April was Fantasy, May was Unite, and June was Cyber. And those ones are now out of market. The next few are July was Heroes 2, Villains 2 was in August, September, September was Summon, October was Time, November was Combat, and December was Galaxy. Now the July through November loot crates are online on loopgrade.com slash pass crates, I think. And you can go and buy the pass crates for $20 a piece. So anywhere from July up to November, you can go on and buy the pass crates. The assembled ones are not on the listing yet, but I'm assuming they'll be there soon. They'll kick July out and put the December ones in for $20 a piece. So you can go on and buy pass loot crates if you missed out on the chance to get them with a subscription or like one by one and your subscription stuff. So that is what this loot crate is about. So 
It's the one thing I've done so far. Now, the box is a little different. I have my unfolded. This is what the January 2016 Invasion box looks like, all folded up. It's a little like game console for the the Space Invaders. So you can see all the stuff here. If you haven't checked out the video, go do so to know what you're looking at from the video. But looking at it, height wise, big difference in the height, a good inch or two here in the height. And same with this direction, they're about the same. But I don't know if they're the same dimensions or not, but I have no idea. All that I did so far with this one was open it up. I just cut the tape here off. So it looks the same as it was with but just a little different dimensions. So, on the inside it says, so we got on the inside, document, share, and enjoy. Hashtag loot great. So let's start out with the t shirt that is involved. Okay, now, I didn't get, I didn't order any of the 2015 look -rates. I only started with January 2016. So I have no idea where these could have come from. So yeah. And also this one's an assembly one too. Take a spot together for a second. But this one is made in Bangladesh. This is stirred. <laughs> so that's what this nice little shirt is here. Nice cotton shirt. Smells weird. Soft style. Ring spun. Feels like a nice shirt, but this is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not familiar with this. I know I I remember seeing this guy. But I can't remember where it's from. I'm not really familiar with this. Thing. That's where that'll go. Um, next is a half scale Endu skull from Terminator Genesis from ChronicleCollectibles.com. This is cool. I haven't played Terminator or watched it or whatever. It's a little bit exclusive. So it's like a half size skull. It's freaking up. It's like a blade. I don't think it's not very heavy. It's like a plastic skull. So this little guy. Rawr. From Terminator. This is cool. I don't know where I'm going to put him. But yeah, I haven't watched Terminator, but this is. Pretty interesting for that little loot crate collector, but it's only available on loot crate. So that's what the benefit is. For a lot of these things I like is that most of these are loot crate exclusives. You can't get them anywhere else. I mean, you probably thought people who sell them on and stuff, but you can't get this in the stores. You can't. It's all loot crate exclusives. I'm just going to stare at the camera for the rest of the time. Um, I have no idea what this is. Should know, but it's like a it's like a dice rolling game now. Put him over here so at least I see what's going on. But there's two little dice here. One black, one white, with hand signals on. And I have actually no idea what this is. There's no description on what it is. I don't know if this is like a board game. If there's anything else in here to deal with it? Because there's more stuff. Oh, there's a. I'm assuming not. I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There's hand signals, there's the um, there's the two peace sign, the four up on that one, and there's a fist on the other one. It's the same bolt, I have no idea. Is it rock, paper, scissors? Could be. Could be rock, paper, scissors with dice. I don't know. But it just it comes in a black bag with nothing in it. Um, this one is Assassin's Creed Unity, and I have played through that game. I have played that game. It was the first game I actually played on Xbox. On Xbox One, I got the Assassin's Creed Unity bundle. So this is going to be interesting. Ooh. This is like the coins that are in the game. We got an official Assassin's Creed Unity coin. It has the Liberté, Egality, and Unity on it. But anyway, see what you guys see. See, Assassin's Creed Unity, and uh, Assassin's Creed Logan bag. But yeah, it comes in a nice little Assassin's Creed Unity bag. That's pretty cool. Because I, I love Assassin's Creed Unity. I haven't played Black Flag yet. I came with Black Flag, but I haven't played that one. And I didn't get the Syndicate yet. Where if I will or not, I don't know. Next one is a Legend of Zelda. It looks like a. It's from Bioworld merch 
and this is like a little wristband. Look at this. It's gonna be something wearing a wrist for like ankle or something. Yeah. My new gaming wristband is in. Wear some Zelda attire. Ready to go. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we got some Zelda attire on now. That's, that's interesting. That's a Blue Crate exclusive as well. I'm assuming, I don't know if the Assassin's Creed one is. I remember seeing it on there before. From the Unite bundle. But I'm not really in temperature, so I can't be certain on that one. Next is something from the last thing here, actually. Is a decal. There's a decal from the Avengers Age of Ultron. So, nice little Avengers decal. Uh, kind of there you go. As you can see. But yeah, it has the Avengers Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron decal. Um, where am I going to put it? I don't know. I mean, I could probably put it. Is it the ones that go on the, tr on the cars and stuff? I could probably put it in my truck. I don't know. It's in the truck. Computer. If it doesn't fit on the truck, I'll put it on the computer or on the Xbox. That's where all my stickers end up. I have all the all different kinds of stickers on there. But inside the box, it does say it's a visit lootcrate.com slash cybercrate for assembly instructions. Now, can we do this without assembly instructions? I figured out how to do the uh, invasion box without assembly instructions. The holy mother of lord, this is not regular loot crate. Most of these things are fold them inside out. Um, I might actually need the instructions. This one thing Pretty sure it's not like the last one. Could be wrong. I could have just completely butchered this thing. But this seems like a logical way to do this. I'm not sure though, but because he has the same thing in the back the sides. But this is what it looks like in the front. So it's like a door, but it opens up to the same people on the inside. So I'm not kind of sure if this is how you do it. I might have to go online and then go online and check out and make sure I do this right. But I'm not entirely sure. There's this little thing in there. It feels like it should be punched out. Is the pen? I don't know. I don't know. But that's the end of this video. I can play that. Much, but I'm not going to pull this box of stuff. In. So this stuff in this box is pretty cool. These are now sold out. But if you want to buy individual stuff from Loot Crate, you can from July up to coming up December. And you can get stuff from them. But otherwise, you can buy the regular subscription. They also have gift packages. They have pets, anime, different Star. They have a Star Wars bundle. They have all kinds of bundles. And they also have gifts.lootcrate.com where you can buy gifts for other people, or socks, or shirts, or all kinds of different stuff. So you can go check it out. This is where I got this from. Was gifts.com for 15 bucks plus shipping. So it wasn't terribly bad. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like if you really appreciated. Comment down below for any other giveaways. Like giveaways or unboxings you want me to do, any ideas you want to give me. Um, also, like games, different stuff you want me to play. That'd be great too. And subscribe if you haven't already. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.